Transportation Minister Ignatius Jonan has disputed Rizal Ramli's accusation that state-owned shipping company Palindo Dua deliberately covered railway tracks at Tanjung Priok Harbour to slow down dwelling times. Ignatius says the coordinating maritime minister has got his facts wrong. Rizal had made an impromptu visit to Tanjung Priok Port and brought his discovery of the concrete-covered railway tracks to the press gathered there, making a stinging accusation that scandal hit Palindo Dua poured the concrete to drive up dwelling times. Now, the Transport Minister Ignatius Yonan says the tracks date back to the Dutch colonial era, that no one knows who poured the concrete, and that three weeks before Rizal gave a dramatic order for it to be smashed, Palindo Dua and the state rail firm had agreed to redevelop the tracks. Ignatius stopped short of directly calling Rizal out, but he has denied the claim that Palindo Dua purposely covered the tracks for its own benefit. <laughs> Nah, kira-kira tiga minggu lalu ya, itu ada pertemuan Kementerian Perhubungan dengan uh, Pelindu II dan Kereta Api Indonesia, jadi sudah sepakat diusahakan dalam tahun ini itu kereta, jalur kereta itu bisa masuk ke siwenya Priok dan siwe di Cirebon. Itu kesepakatan mereka berdua sih, kita hanya fasilitas pasti aja, karena Menurut saya ini penting ya, supaya logistik itu ada pilihan. Jadi mau pakai truk boleh, pakai kereta boleh, dan sebagainya. Kalau ada pilihan kan nanti bisa lebih kompetitif. Meanwhile, the government has said it wants the tracks at Indonesia's biggest container port to be finished in three months. But Kereta Api Indonesia, the rail company, says it needs five months and 70 billion rupiah for the project. The administration is desperately trying to lower dwelling times in the country, an underlying cause of its huge logistics costs.